I've been doing this channel seriously for about six months now. I haven't really told you anything about myself. So my name is Kevin. I've been a full-time woodworker for about eight years now. Though it didn't really start to take off until 2008 when I started selling on Etsy. Mostly my focus is on making jewelry boxes. I figured a jewelry box was something that was small enough to ship, but something that people were willing to put some money into. Because I didn't really want to be doing production work. I wanted to do more one-of-a-kind stuff. But fast forward to today, and here I am doing production work. Because the one-of-a-kind stuff never really paid the bills. That's really why I started this channel, as an excuse to start doing more of the creative work that I like to do, as opposed to the production work that I have to do. Most of my sales are usually around the holidays, and it's usually really slow over the summer. So my plan was to have a whole bunch of videos done over the summer, and I could save some of those when it was getting busy later in the year. Of course, July was busy, and August was the busiest I've been all year. So that didn't work out. So I thought I would try doing this time lapse of just a day in the shop. I didn't get the whole day. There were times when the camera stopped. And there were times when I was in the office. Or... So at this point, I've already spent about three days surfacing the material, cutting it to rough lengths, cutting it to width. So, on this day, I was spending a whole lot of quality time with the crosscut sled, cutting things to length, and cutting a lot of, of rabbits. With the size of my shop, there's really a limit where if you try to do too much at one time, you just start spending more time moving things around than you gain. My inventory is really low at this point, so I really have to focus on getting these cranked out as quickly as possible. But the good news is that once I get past the having all the joinery made, it really just turns into several days of clamping. And while the glue's drying, I've got time to do other stuff. So that'll be good. You're probably just going to see these things clamped up in the background of every video for the next month. The other part of the job is getting things ready to ship. I offer options with the hardware, well, the color of the lining, size of the compartments. So getting a box ready to ship takes some time. So when the orders are coming in, that's great, but it also takes up a lot of time. It's a lot, it's a lot easier for me when there's three or four orders at once that I can get ready altogether as opposed to just one. In between Thanksgiving and the week before Christmas, it's really just all day is getting so afraid to ship. So I might do another one of these during that time period just to just to contrast what the day is like. You know, when things are not as busy as opposed to during the holiday rush itself. Keep an eye on what I'm doing because I'm gonna screw up if you can spot it before I figure it out. I've been making these boxes for so long that I have all the drill bit sizes for doing the hardware memorized. I have all the measurements for doing the dividers memorized. There are two different depth drawers, so there are two different height dividers. And I know the exact position of the wheel for the height adjustment of the table saw blade to switch between the two. I also know the exact position of the wheel on the planar height, so each batch is the same. I was really reluctant to start offering the choice for the hardware between brass and nickel, because when it was just one, I could do all that at once and have it all ready to go. Whereas now I have to either have enough that I can keep enough stock of both of them to not run out, when my inventory is a little bit low, I can't install them. But when I started offering the, the nickel on top of the brass, it basically doubled the sales, which was amazing. So right here is where I realized that I didn't put the lining in one of the boxes. And of course, the boxes are the same size. 
they had the same number of drawers, and they were the same color lining. So there was no way to tell which box was which. And of course I guessed wrong on the first try. So then I went back to finishing up the rabbits. I didn't get the footage of the end of this. I try to make it so that when I leave the shop, I've got something being glued up, if I can help it. When you're making a whole lot of things, it takes a lot of space to glue things out. And a lot of clamps. It's just many iterations of taking all the clamps out, covering every horizontal surface with things being glued up, and then doing it all again, over and over again. So if you stuck it out through all this, I'll give you a little preview of some things that are coming up for the next month or so. I've been working hard on a whole bunch of toys, and most of those are going to be going to charity. I've just got the bucket and the arms for the front loader. And I've got this pile of about 40 board feet of 8 quarter soft maple. Hopefully you're going to see something really cool come out of that. 